Hi, everyone. Welcome to our webinar 15. Um, today, we'll be discussing mock-up templates and how to use them. Um, this has been a long anticipated um, item that we wanted to feature on our store at lumaprints.com. And we're now able to do it for Canvas and Fine Art Paper Prints. So really cool stuff. Um, I think the um, development of this has been kind of a long time coming, but now that we're around it, we're uh, happy to introduce it to our customers. This is a great option for those who want to showcase their artwork onto Luma Prince products so their customers could preview it on their store and see what it's going to look like before they purchase it. Um, it's just overall a really good feature that we're providing to our customers right now. And it's uh, just something that, um, you know, we thoroughly enjoyed making for you guys. Um, before we begin um, as well, I would like to preface that for um, you to be able to utilize these mockups, you will need an editing software. Um, so Photoshop is kind of the standard, but of course there are other programs that are either free or of little cost or one-time purchase programs that are available for you as so long as the editing software at hand can you know toggle on and off multiple layers then it should be able to do this and if it could also process um, Photoshop files so PSD files um, some options I think include GIMP, Medibang, and Clip Studio uh, uh, Clip Studio Art and so those three are either one-time purchases or they're uh, free. So it's worth looking into those if you don't have Photoshop, right? Um, so I think right now is a good time to start with the demonstration. So let me just share my screen. Okay, uh, just confirming with Sarah if she could see the uh, lumaprints.com website. Thank you. All right, so let's start with um, accessing the um, the templates since it's a new feature. Um, either go on Canvas Prints or Fine Art Paper Prints or uh, Frame Canvas Prints. Either way, you'll be able to go scroll down to the bottom and you will find the Assets section and that will include our stretched and framed canvas mock-up templates. Alternatively, if you go into Fine Art Paper Prints, it will also have their version for it as well. So let's go ahead and download it. And once it's down downloading, all right, I'll open it up. And yeah, all you have to do is open up the file it's kind of a big file, so it might take a little bit to open up, but once it's open, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so what we've done here is, as you can see, we've written directions on how to utilize this program. So even without this video, you could still navigate pretty well on how to use this. I know that some people just like visuals, so I wanted to give that today. Um, but as we read through the instructions, um, Feel free to hide and toggle any irrelevant um, pages that you don't need or layers um, on and off. So as you can see here, I can turn off the instructions just with the toggle button here. And other programs will have a similar feature as well. So don't worry about um, you know this being different from other programs. If they have layers, th this is gonna be very similar. So on and off. Um, also, when it comes to the sizing, we chose the most popular sizes available and the most popular ratios. So let's say you have an odd number uh, or an odd measurement for your canvas, it's fine. You could always choose the closest measurement available to you. As you can see here, we have squares, rectangles, panoramics, um, large and small. So feel free to go from here and kind of figure out which one is the closest to your image's um, ratio. So for me today, I will be using a square and here we have available the 20 by 20 square. And so if I turn off the instructions for now, um, we'll walk through this. So here I have a framed canvas. And of course, if you are trying to provide a um, just a regular stretch canvas. Then here are the frames here. And as you can see, by default, the 
the black frame is toggled. We just need to turn it off and you have a regular canvas. So the texture will remain, the drop shadow will remain. You don't have to worry about that. But today I would like to showcase this with the frame. So we're gonna keep the black one on. And so as you can see, this is gonna give uniformity to your website as it is one background type and a consistent placement of your canvas and or fine art paper print. And so now I'm gonna show how to add in the image. As you can see here, we do have a smart object. And so all you have to do, which is very simple, I, I think that even if you're a beginner or have never used Photoshop, this is fairly simple. So let's go ahead and just double click on the smart object here within the 20 by 20 square layer. And then here you'll be opened up to a new page and it's just this, imagine this being the canvas. And so what we're gonna do here is add in the image. You can do so by copying, dragging, and or whatever you prefer. So let me do that. I'm gonna make this window smaller and open up my new folder. And I'm gonna be using this image that one of our in-house artists has made and just superimpose it over to Photoshop and then move it to the center. All right, so as you can see, that's been done. And all you have to do from here is just control save or press save. That way, this image is superimposed onto the canvas, if you will, and it will save. So once you exit out, which you're safe to do so, it will then show here on the mockup. And from here, you're done. Um, you can go ahead and just export as um, a JPEG or a PNG, up to you. I like using PNG for any um, web images or web presenting images. If it's a print file, that's a whole different matter. But if we're just talking about how um, images upload much more um, faster onto your computer or onto the web, uh, PNG is the way to go. And also it tends to look more accurate um, as what you see here as to what you see on your website. So go ahead and export it and then I'm going to give it, you know, a title, you know, birch tree. And you're done. And so that's the same process for all of your canvas and also all of your fine art paper prints. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think that with this new feature, you should be able to add in a new imagery into your website, and it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes to do so, especially once you get the hang of it, it'll just be even faster. Um, of course, if you, know, you do have some understanding of Photoshop and you want to be a bit more customizable with your um, background or mock-up, then you are free to do so. And I wanted to kind of show an example right here. Um, this isn't the original mock-up that we provide, but this is a mock-up I uploaded myself just to kind of showcase the capabilities of this file. Once you know you get the hang of it or you you have a familiarity with Photoshop. Um, and I did this by going into the background um, folder and let me just toggle off these items. But here is the original background that uh, we provide, which is, you know, the colors are neutral and this is a very much applicable to all art style type of mock-up, hence why we chose this. But say, yeah, you know, you have a certain mood that you want to demonstrate on your website, which, you know, by all means we encourage it. Um, then you could go ahead and find, you know, either stock imagery, um, through uh, splash page, uh, splash images or Shutterstock or whatever um, stock images you could find. And for me, kind of the uh, good rule of thumb is as so long as it is color corrected and matches the lighting of your canvas, you should be good to go so it doesn't look too artificial or too out of place. Because if you choose something that's too dark, it's going to look a little weird. If you choose something with the wrong lighting or color tone, it just might not look like it's naturally there. So you do want to make sure that the lighting of your mock-up matches kind of the lighting of your um, framed uh, art print. 
And so here I am using a fine art frame paper print. So um, as you can see here, kind of superimpose the same image into this art piece as well. And so you can now have you know, a lot of options available to you if you ever decide to choose your own mock-up backgrounds. But we, for the fastest one, of course, the standard mock-up that we provide here is pretty good to go. And it allows your image to be the forefront and the focus of the image as well. So hopefully that has been very useful for you guys. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions so far. Um, let me just stop sharing my screen. All right. Um, hopefully that demonstration was pretty straightforward. Um, of course, if there's anything you're not sure about, um, I'm more than happy to answer, as well as we have some people on my team that could answer in case it's out of my threshold. Okay, if there are no questions, um, this video will be available on YouTube after the fact. So if you ever need a second um, kind of review over this or you wanna just have something to go back to, I for one love going back to videos just to, even if I know what I'm doing, I like to be reassured. Um, thanks Tovo, um, we're, great, uh, we're really happy to showcase this uh, feature to our customers. Um, I think that's about it. Um, of course, if you guys have any questions about it, specifically after the fact, I know their CS team will be, um, you know, replying to questions. They're more than welcome to send those questions my way or um, marketing's way as we were the ones who kind of developed this. Um, someone in our team developed this in-house. So we're really happy to have this ready for you guys. And we have some working knowledge as well. And then um, before we send off and finish off the meeting, uh, I do have some announcements to make. Um, for next week or for future webinars, actually, we are looking for artists to interview. And this is part of a webinar series that we've been wanting to develop for a while now. Um, but we want to hear from artists, you know, in person or in video rather, um, about their experiences and their careers and their journeys, specifically how they develop themselves as being an artist, but also handling the business side of things. Because, um, you know, one of the things that I feel like a lot of up and coming artists and even knowledgeable artists kind of, you know, have to toggle with is, you know, how do they manage the finance or the business aspect of their creativity, you know? Um, Claire asked a question and asked if there is another option besides Photoshop. Yes, there are options that are available to you that are free. Um, I personally recommend Medibang only because it's very user friendly and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Its format also kind of mimics the appearance of um, Photoshop as well. So that's what I go with um, when I personally at home don't use Photoshop. GIMP is also a really good option that I know a lot of people use. Um, what I can do is on YouTube, post the links to those free options as well. And then if you're looking for a more advanced program, that's a one-time purchase. Right now, Clip Studio has a sale, which I always recommend because Clip Studio is very on par with Photoshop, but it's just a one-time purchase as opposed to a subscription. Um, Hopefully that answers your question, but yeah, two free options and then there's the one-time paid option because I know Photoshop is not feasible for everyone. Um, yeah. Let's see, Tovo asked, are three-fourth views useful for mock-ups? For instance, canvas prints to show the side and edges. Oh, so uh, perspective. Um, I think perspectives are very useful. Um, I know that for some of our uh, clients, we do have silos that look like that or perspectives that look like that. Um, I think they're useful because it allows the customer to see what the thickness will look like, um, kind of. Um, of course, it's not um, a harsh rule that I've seen that a lot of artists have to have on their website. In fact, I only see it in big store companies uh, utilizing that type of perspective. Otherwise, when I look onto like say um, a small e-commerce art shop, it's not gonna have that um, perspective. But again, that's just my feedback on that matter. Um, but 
you know, it's a great option and something we could bring forth with the team if we ever want to provide that. So it's just some great things to know about. Um, and yeah, don't worry, Claire, I will be providing those links available. Um, but yeah, um, again, we would love to, uh, going back to the artist project, I would love to um, reach out to um, artists that work with Luma Prints or have worked with Luma Prints. It'd be great to have your story kind of told in a webinar format, and thereafter it'll be on YouTube. But the idea is to kind of reach out to others who have um, different journeys, because not every artist has the same journey when it comes to their success or their way of navigating the business aspect of their career. Apart from that, um, I think that's about it. I will be sending some more information about that um, project um, later today. So hopefully you guys see that newsletter. And if you're interested, please, we would love to hear from you guys, especially people who have been tuning into the uh, webinars and or people who uh, really like our pr uh, production and who have worked with us. I know that there's some people who the CS team or marketing here have had a long standing conversation with and we've talked to in person. So we would love to hear from you guys for sure. And then uh, to close off the um, meeting, if there are no other questions, of course, I'm more than happy to answer them. But apart from that, um, please uh, check out our YouTube. We are adding timestamps to these videos. So great to look back and you could go back to questions and or topics that you need to refer back to, it'll be great. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, feel free to subscribe. We always appreciate the subscriptions uh, on YouTube just helps get the word out about our products and also about our you know, resources a lot better. So if no one has any questions, I will end it here. We will keep the video, we will keep the webinar running in case there's any last minute questions and we'll answer those. But in that case, uh, I shall leave you guys, so bye.